Hey guys, so this is Francesco from Soundbreaking Productions. I know I sound a little different today, I'm a little sick, but uh, today I'm going to be showing you about how to get your buttons working on your KeyStation 49ES. Uh, so let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open Logic Pro X and we're going to be heading all the way to the top of the bar uh, and go into Logic Pro X, go to Control Surfaces, and then Setup. So when you go into setup, this is going to be your uh, control surface setup where you can set up your uh, different uh, sur control surfaces so that they can work with the door. door. So uh, the thing with the KeyStation 49ES is even though it's M-Audio, it uses a Mackie UI. So we're going to actually have to add a Mackie controller. So uh, mine is already set up, so this is my Mackie controller. But in order to set it up, we're going to do controls, uh, go into the control surfaces window, uh, select new. So here it is. And we're going to select install. Install. And from the list, select Mackie Designs. Uh, go all the way down to Mackie. Let's see where it is. Did I pass it? Let's see. Sorry, guys, one second. Here it is. So here are the Mackie designs, and we are going to be hitting uh, Mackie control. Hold on. Where is it? Here it is. Mackie control, uh, logic control. So Mackie designs, Mackie control, and logic control. Uh, we're going to click add on the bottom. Okay, and it's, uh, it's telling me that there is already a Mackie control. Uh, we'll add a number two to it. Okay, just to add it. And after that, we're going to close this out. We're going to open this. And from the device Mackie control menu to the left, uh, set the output and input ports to the key station, uh, depending on your OS. So... We're going to be setting, here's the output port to the key station and the input port to the key station. Okay, so set them both to key station. Uh, it's telling me that there's already a compatible device with it because I already have the Mackie control, but you guys could do it if you don't have this. So uh, select both of them to the key station. I'll show you what mine looks like. I'm going to delete this extra one that I made. Uh, I'm going to show you what mine looks like. Mine looks like output port, key station 49ES port 1, and input port, key station 49ES port 2. Okay, so this is all of my uh, settings if you want to copy this. Okay, and this will make your uh, record button work, your stop button, your play button work on your key station 49. So um, now that that's done, I'm actually going to flip this to video, and I'm going to show you... Uh, what the advanced button does because I didn't know what this button did but uh, yesterday I was just playing around with it and I found out what it actually does and what all those crazy words mean up top uh, that you can actually use those use the keys to actually uh, hit different settings on the keyboard so uh, I'm gonna flip over to my camera now and I'll show you guys what the advanced function does and how to actually get the octave keys to work too because uh, I was having trouble getting the octave keys working so here we go. All right, guys, so we're going to head over to the keyboard portion of this, uh, how to set up the keyboard. And we're going to hit, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit advanced button, and your light should turn blue. After that, we're going to go to middle C right here. And we're going to not hit middle C, but we are going to hit the F button. Okay. As soon as you hit the F button, you should see right here, your octave keys should turn red, okay? Now, we don't want them to turn red. We want to make sure they're green, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to hit that F again, and they're going to turn green, okay? Once you have it on green, we're going to press Enter. Enter is the last key all the way on the right side of the keyboard, this one right here, okay? This is Enter. So hit it. And your keyboard is set up with logic already. Now, to make sure it's set up, let's see, let's hit the octave button. 
it should turn a brighter green. Let's hit it again. Now it turned orange. Again, red. And now it's all the way and it's blinking. That means it's the highest octave that you could possibly be. So let's try it. Uh, here's a regular. Oh, actually, here's regular. Both, uh, both octave lights on. Let's try it. Oops. Let me turn on the monitor for this. Uh, hold on. There we go. So let's hit the octave. Octave again. Okay, so that's the octave button. Uh, also, we have the record button, and watch what happens when we hit record. I'll show you the screen. Uh, here's the record. Hit it, and it's recording on the screen. We have the stop button, and it stops. So, this is fully set up now. Uh, all the buttons work, everything's working just because we did this whole, uh, all these steps in this video that I showed. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you get your M Audio Key Station set up and I hope this video helped very much. Below in the description you could see a link to my website, Soundbreaking Productions, as well as a link to this Key Station 490S. If you don't have it already, you could buy it or you could buy another one. Uh, they're very cheap, they're only about 100 bucks and you could do everything with this. You could set up, uh, you could do mini drums, and you can you can put different instruments into your mixes. You could produce. You could do everything with this. Okay, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, like always, comment at the bottom, and I'm very good at responding. So, have a good one. Cheers.